In this lecture, we will understand how to define response spectrum functions. To do that, we need to go to define functions response spectrum. Here you will see that there are various predefined options for various countries already predefined by the ETAS program. For example, Argentina, Australia, America, Boca, Chile, Chinese, Colombia, Costa Rica, Dominican, Ecuador, Eurocode, Guatemala, IS-1893, Italian, Korean, Mexico, NBCC, NEHA and the list goes on. So we can just left click for example if we want to input ASCE710 response spectrum function. We select the function here. We left click on add new function. We can enter SA and SS from with the help of for example lateral latitude longitude. We can enter all the data as per the ASCE710. We can enter the damping ratio and accordingly this graph, this graph will automatically gets updated. So when we left click on OK option here or if you want to import for example IS1893 to 2002. We left click for example seismic zone factor can be for example 0 0.24. Damping ratio can be for example 4 percentage and plot option can be either linear or logarithmic when we left click on OK option. So this function is also not defined here. Similarly for each and every response spectrum function the window that will open will be different and it will be as per the country code. So, so for whatever country you are designing the building you need to enter that response spectrum function for that country. We need you need to select that response spectrum function from this option. You need to click on add new function and then again we need to enter all the data carefully and then you left click on OK option to finally freeze the that response spectrum function to be used further again for some dependent earthquake parameters. So we again left click on OK option freeze the response spectrum function. If we want to modify the response spectrum function we need to go to define function and response spectrum. For example if you want to modify the function 14 we left click on modify show spectrum and then again we change we can and change the option for example let it be 0 0.5 and then again we left click on OK option to freeze the graph. One more thing here that I want to tell you was that there is an also an option here that you can enter the user response spectrum function. We can click on add new function. Here you can enter the data as per your requirement and you can plot the response spectrum functions as per the desi designer requirements. Most of the time it do happens that the you will get a customized response spectrum function for a particular site or for a particular zone. So to do that we need to go to this user and then we need to plot the response spectrum function here. There's also one more option here that we can what we can do is that we can also import response spectrum function from from a file. To do that we need to go to from file option. We need to click on add new function and here like time history function you will also an option you find an option here to browse and to find a data file for response spectrum. We can also add a text file here but users should notice that it should follow the proper syntax syntax for response spectrum function. Either we can go with frequency versus value or we either we can go with period versus value and function damping ratio.